Tisa the Mamacita live from, the, I should say live from the black carpet, <laughs> 935 K-Day. We're at the world premiere straight out of Compton. It's only right that we be here. First of all, let me say this. We're the first hip hop station in the world before anybody else. We are the legendary 935 K-Day. This is our music, this is our time, and we're here to pay homage. So make sure you guys stay with me. We're gonna check out all the actors, see what they're wearing, and see what they have to say about Straight Outta Compton. This is big for the West Coast. It's your girl, Cece the Mama Cita. It's 935 K-Day. Day for just raising me and if you see the movie you'll see Greg Mack which I play Greg Mack at the Mack Attack 1580 K Day why this is Greg Mack at the Mack Attack and so I got to give major love to K Day for raising me and for just making hip-hop what it is today we wouldn't be here today if it wasn't for Greg Mack giving support to NWA giving support to hip-hop and now I'm glad you guys are still around giving the type of support we need in order to make it big. So that's why I came back here to give you love because you gave us so much love. First of all, those were some pretty big shoes to fill. Yeah. yeah, yeah. How did you feel when they were considering you for the part? Um, well, you know, it was it was a lot of pressure. You know, two years of auditioning just to get to a screen test where Universal still had to pick me between three cubes. Okay, so wait a minute. There wasn't like any special like process. You really had to go through it like everybody else. Yeah, two years of callbacks, two years of going into auditions, trying to explain to the suits, you know, if you want this movie to be authentic, you can't get more authentic than me. You, I know the man inside out. And, you know, years of pumping that into him led to a chemistry test where they picked the right man for the job. Okay, so your favorite Ice Cube song when you're bumping K-Day, because we know we're the only station you bump. My favorite? I mean, it's an N.W.A. record, Gangsta Gangsta, gotta go. I just play that today. That's what I'm talking about. Ice Cube would like to say that I'm a crazy mother from around the way. Okay, I got one question for you. This movie, how important was it for it to be told in its authentic, like to be authentic? You know what I mean? It had to be real. It had to be 100. I grew up listening to NWA. I'm from Compton. This is a very important film for me. Yeah, you know, we knew that. We knew that the people that was there would feel it. And we, if we didn't do it right, they let us know. So we wanted to make sure that the originals, the OGs, could feel our movie and let us know we shot it right here in South Central in Compton. Why? We shot it everywhere, so we tried to make sure that you could feel it off the screen, and we did a hell of a job. And just like you guys are taking the movie straight out of Compton, you're keeping hip hop alive. K Day's doing that all day, every day, so we definitely appreciate you and we salute you. Look, I hear you and I appreciate you. You're the only one that still bump my records on the regular, and I love y'all for that. So there you have it, your girl Cece the Mama Cece covering the black carpet straight out of Compton. Make sure you guys go ahead and check out the film. We got to interview O'Shea Jackson Jr. We interviewed Bone Thugs in Harmony. Everybody, F. Gary Gray, such a great interview. I support this film. I urge you to go see it. And of course, I always urge you to listen to 935K. It's only right that we're here.